Here we have a 69 plate of Volkswagen Golf GTI Performance. Now this vehicle comes with the deep black exterior paintwork. We do have the LED headlights, the red stripe that runs across them and also across the front grille with the GTI logo on the left. Coming around to the passenger side you'll find we have the 19 inch alloy wheels. We also have the red brake helpers behind with the GTI logo. We have the colour coded door handles and door mirrors, black trim around the windows and the privacy glass as well for the rear passengers. Up top you find the shark fin antennae along with the rear spoiler. We do have front and rear parking sensors with a visual display and a rear reversing camera. We also have the dual exit exhaust at the back with the rear diffuser, again the GTI badging on the left hand side. If we just open up the booth then, just like so, you can see we have a decent amount of space inside of here. We do of course have the partial shaft at the top. We also have a 12 volt connectivity on the right along with hooks as well inside of here. We also have a handle just underneath there so we can pull the boot back down. And coming back round to the driver's side, you'll find the vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. Now if we take a look at the interior, so inside of the back first, you'll find we have the half leather and cloth interior. We do have the full sports seats with the honeycomb design. Really nice interior inside of here with the contrasting red stitching. Foddable armrests in the centre and fixed ISO points as well back here. Got the vents in the centre for the rear passengers. On the doors you'll find the brushed metal handles, electric windows, again we've got the leather trim with the red stitching. Taking a look at the front, you'll find the same sport seats with the honeycomb design, half leather and cloth. Really nice seats, both front seats are being heated. We do have the heated electric mirrors, electric windows with trial lock for the rear, automatic lights are just down here. We also have the flat bottomed multifunctional steering wheel, again with the red stitching. And we do also have a nice GTI logo down there. Digital dashboard, which has a nice animation as we get in the vehicle. If we put a foot on the brake, press the start button, then the vehicle will start up for us. You'll find we have the paddle shifters on either side of the steering wheel. We do also have the adaptive cruise control here on the left hand side along with the volume buttons. Now you can see on the digital dashboard we are free from any warning lights. You can also change the view by pressing these buttons here on the right. So as you can see with the trip computer, the assist systems, navigation, we have the audio and all these other options which you can flick through as well along with the lap timer. We also have the main infotainment screen here in the centre, it's currently showing the sat nav, but again has plenty of features on here, you would have seen them all on the photos. Going through them though, we do, it is touch screen and we can just go on the shortcuts, you can see we have the radio stations, we also have then the media options where you find the CD player, Bluetooth audio and a few other options just there as well. Bluetooth phone connectivity for phone calls, if you go onto app you'll find Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, onto the car and you'll find the lap timer along with the performance monitor as well, pretty cool feature to have. But on the main menu, you find even further options which you can scroll through just like so. Moving further down, you'll find we have the climate control, the heat seats on either side, and the ice-cold air conditioning as well, all working as they should do. Automatic gearbox as well, let's move that out of the way, you can see we have some extra storage underneath there with the USB port. Put it back into park, we do also have the different drive modes that are just here. You can see we have normal, sport, individual and eco. Putting the car into reverse, you'll also find the parking sensors and reverse camera appear on the screen. Put it back into park again, we do have the auto start start button, trash control, parking sensors, electric handbrake and auto hold button. Inside of here, you'll find we have the cup holders. We do also have a 12 volt connectivity just there. Nice leather armrest which can be opened up for extra storage. But that's all I'm going to show you guys today. If you'd like to find out more, please check out the website. This vehicle comes through a fresh service, fresh MOT, and free nationwide delivery. Thank you for watching. Video test drive of this Volkswagen Golf GTI performance. Now, the purpose of the video test drive is to show the vehicle that drives as you expect it to. As you can see, I'm now to fire up the steering wheel to keep it in a straight line, not being up to the left, or to the right hand side, staying straight and true. Now we do have the module function steering wheel, which has the paddle shifters on either side. So if you want to set the car into landing mode, you simply tap on the paddles to change gear. We also have the adaptive cruise control button here on the left hand side, along with the volume buttons just underneath. The digital dashboard in front of us as well, which can show different displays and different information. 
Now, if you do this carefully though, throughout the video of the test drive, you'll also notice you'll be free from any unwanted hood knocks or bangs. We also have the full sport honeycomb seats, which are really comfortable, half leather, half cloth. You can easily do two, three, over 400 miles in this vehicle and still get out really fresh. Both front seats are also heated, which is perfect for them cold and winter mornings. Now we also have many more features. We've got the main entertainment screen just here in the centre. We've got the show the DAV radio. Of course, there's many more features you would have seen again on the photos. Below there, we have the dual zone climate control for the front passengers. And we also have the article and air conditioning, perfect for them hot summer days. Automatic gearbox, which is really smooth through all the gears, along with having the different drive modes as well. Now in a moment, we are about to take a right hand turn, so we put our right indicator on. We start to slow down. We're going to take a right hand turn just in a moment onto the industrial park. And we'll perform an emergency stop now in three, two, and one. Hold on to the brakes, put the car into reverse. You'll find the reversing camera up here on the screen. Back into a drive with no issues whatsoever. Now, if this video hasn't answered all your questions, then please feel free to get in contact with our sales team where they can answer all and answer questions along with one of some inquiries of you. That's all for me today, though. Cheers.